Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. We'll discuss now one question of estimation of working capital where we have domestic sale as well as export sales. In this question, there is a reference to special packing credit limit. It is about the incentive which is given to the exporter so that they can do more exports to support them. This type of credit limit is offered. We'll be learning about this particular point in this question. Let us go through the question. Bhargav Limited furnishes you the following details with the request to calculate estimated working capital requirement for the year 2014. Credit, two months credit to domestic customers and three months to overseas buyers that is in case of export sales. Suppliers give one month credit. This is information of current liability and up we have information of debtors that is current asset. Time lag one month in respect of all expenses. All expenses, this is information of current liability. Except sales promotion expenses which are payable in advance on quarterly basis. So this is going to be current asset. Projected figures for the year 2014. Continue. Domestic sales 1,80,000. Export sales 36,000. Wages 42,000. Manufacturing expenses 57,000. Administration expenses 60,000. Sales promotion expenses 30,000. Inventories to be maintained as follows. This is for calculation of current asset. Raw materials, one month for domestic and two months for export suppliers. Finished goods, one month for domestic and three months for export suppliers. This is the information of current asset. Gross profit is to be maintained at 25% on sales, which overseas buyer are to be allowed a special 10% discount. So this gross profit ratio 25% on sales will not be applicable for exporters as they are going to pay 10% less due to special 10% discount. Special packing credit limit are available on 90% of export stocks of raw material and daters. So these are the two items which are required to be considered for special packing credit limit. This will be part of current liability. An additional cash balance is to be maintained as safety margin which is equivalent to 10% of total working capital. Let us do now basic workings first. They have given your gross profit is 25% on sales. So in case of domestic sales, amount is, sale amount is 180,000. We can calculate now gross profit and we can calculate then cost of production. Domestic sales multiplied by GP ratio. Domestic sales is given rupees 180,000. Gross profit ratio is 25%. So gross profit we got 45,000. We can calculate now cost of production or cost of goods sold.
cost of production is equal to sales minus gross profit. Sales is 1,80,000. Gross profit we have calculated 45,000. 1,80,000 minus 45,000. It will be 1,35,000. In case of export sales, there is special discount of 10%. So if domestic price is 100 minus gross profit 25, we get cost 75. In case of exports, domestic sale price is 100 less 10% special discount. So it will be 90 rupees. So cost here we got 75. Export price is 90. When export price is 90, cost is 75. Actual export sales is given 36,000. So here below this export price we will put that 36,000 to arrive at cost. So it is 30,000. So in case of domestic, we got cost 135,000. In case of export, we got cost 30,000. We can calculate cost ratio. Domestic 135,000 is to export 30,000. So it will be 9 is to 2. This information will be used to divide all expenses between domestic and export market. Here we have information of wages, manufacturing expenses, but we don't have information of material cost. So that we'll be calculating now. We are required to find out material cost. If we add material wages and manufacturing expenses, we get total cost of production. Here we have calculated cost of production, domestic 135,000. And in case of export, 30,000. So we'll be adding these two. One lakh thirty-five thousand plus thirty thousand. It is one lakh sixty-five thousand. Wages total we have forty-two thousand and manufacturing expenses fifty-seven thousand. Wages 42,000, manufacturing expenses 57,000. If we add material, we should get 165,000. So here material we can get as a balancing figure. So 
So we have calculated material cost for domestic plus export. Total amount is sixty-six thousand. Cost of production we got here one lakh sixty-five thousand. To this we'll be adding other expenses. Here we have admin expenses sixty thousand, sales promotion expenses thirty thousand. So total amount it becomes two lakh fifty five thousand. Let us allocate the expenses between domestic and export market. This total forty two thousand. Manufacturing expenses fifty seven thousand. Administrative expenses sixty thousand. Material cost we have calculated sixty six thousand. Here we have calculated ratio of cost nine is to two. So materials will be allocated in the ratio of nine is to two. Between domestic and export market, total amount is sixty-six thousand. So domestic fifty-four thousand and export twelve thousand. Total wages forty-two thousand. Wages thirty-four thousand three hundred and sixty-four domestic. Export seven thousand six hundred and thirty-six. Manufacturing expenses forty-six thousand six hundred and thirty-six, and ten thousand three hundred sixty-four. So here we got total one lakh thirty five thousand and thirty thousand total one lakh sixty five thousand. So this we have added administration expenses. We got administration cost. Administration expenses are also allocated in the ratio of nine is to two. So we got these per annum values. Now with the help of this we can calculate current assets and current liabilities required to calculate estimated working capital. Bhargav Limited statement of estimated working capital. We are required to start with current assets. Then we have first item inventories, stock of materials. Inventories to be maintained as follows: raw material one month for domestic and two months for export. In case of domestic raw material per annum divided by twelve to get per month multiplied by period 
your material for domestic we have 54,000 per annum. 54,000 per annum divided by 12 to get for one month multiplied by period one month stock. So it is 4,500. In case of exports, they have said two months. Raw material per annum for export divided by 12 multiplied by period. In case of material for export purpose per annum consumption is 12,000. Raw material per annum 12,000 divided by 12 to get for one month multiplied by period 2 months so it is 2000 finished goods 1 month for domestic and 3 months for export supply Cost of production per annum divided by 12 to get per month multiplied by period. In case of domestic, cost of production is 1 lakh 35,000. 1 lakh 35,000 divided by 12 multiplied by period, 1 month. It is 11,250. In case of expo, 3 months, cost of production divided by 12 multiplied by period. In case of export, it is 30,000. 30,000 divided by 12 multiplied by 3. It is 7,500. Two months credit to domestic customers, that is debtors, and three months to overseas buyers, that is for export sales. Domestic sales is one like eighty thousand. And export sales is 36,000. 1 lakh 80,000 divided by 12 multiplied by credit period 2 months. 36,000 divided by 12 multiplied by credit period 3 months. So, debtors in case of domestic sales 30,000, in case of export sales 9,000. Sales promotion expenses are payable advance on quarterly basis and sales promotion expenses are 30,000. Sales promotion expenses 30,000 divided by 12 multiplied by period 3 months, it comes to 7,500. Suppliers to give one month credit. Creditors for goods, domestic, one month credit. Export, one month credit. Materials, domestic, 54,000. Export, 12,000.
54,000 divided by 12 multiplied by 1, 12,000 divided by 12 multiplied by 1. So in case of domestic, it is 4,500, export 1,000, total is 5,500. We could have together taken 54,000 plus 12,000 to get consolidated creditors for goods. Time like one month in respect of all the expenses except sales promotion. Wages total 42,000, wages per annum 42,000, to get per month divided by 12, period of areas 1 month multiplied by 1. Outstanding wages 3,500, manufacturing expenses 57,000, divided by 12, multiplied by 1 month. 4,750 administration expenses 60,000 so it is 5,000 special packing credit limit available on 90% of export stock of raw material and datas Stock of material export it is 2000, datas export sales 9000, stock of material 2000 plus datas 9000. 90% of this total will be special packing credit limit. It is 9900. We have calculated our current assets and current liabilities. Let us take total of this. Total current assets, that is gross working capital, is 71,750. Total current liability is 28,650. This will be deducted from the total current assets. So net working capital 43,100, this is before cash balance, an additional cash balance is to be maintained as safety margin which is equal to 10% of total working capital. We are required to calculate cash 10% on total working capital. So here we will do working note and we will get the figure of cash. So 
So total working capital required will be 47,889. If you take 10% of this, it comes to 4789. How it is calculated? Cash for safety margin, we were having this figure. Before cash, we are having the figure 43,100. 43,100 divided by 90 multiplied by 10. In this question, we have understood a new concept of special packing credit limit. We also understood how to get the various missing information like materials. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.